welcome to another video of Brown Struggle in Canada. It's Friday evening, we just finished work and we are at the CNE Toronto. We have been waiting for this exhibition for almost two years now and it's finally here. So we're gonna go in and show you what all the hype is about. Let's go. So we were going to the CNE from Toronto and for that we took the subway to Union Station and after that we took the GO train that dropped us at the exhibition GO. And don't forget to tap your Presto cards because they have assigned extra security to double check that everyone has paid who is coming to the CNE. We purchased our tickets in advance and since it was the opening day we got a discount and our tickets were only $13. After entering, you will see this information booth and we recommend getting a map from here that will give you all the locations of all the exhibitions and also all the show timings. They're also running a train so you can go around and get to different locations easily. Apart from food vendors outside, they have one dedicated building just for the food stalls. We were overwhelmed with how many options they had from Italian to Indian food, Middle Eastern, Japanese, American and Canadian food. And of course, how can we forget beaver tails? And we also wanted to try the food carts outside so we went with the Thai street food snack option from JJ Market. The snacks were okay but the tea lemonade was amazing. You will also find these lemonade stands all around the eggs, which is all we needed to beat the heat. And as we exited the food section, up next was my favorite section, which was the carnival. Here you would find many soft toys that are waiting to be worn. No matter what your skills are, there might be something here to try them in. Most of these games are cash only though, so do make sure that you bring some cash with you just in case. Without a doubt, the CNE would not be CNE without these games here. Up next, let's talk about the rides at the CNE. The first ride that caught our attention was the Sky Ride. And you can see that we were not the only ones. The line for this ride was pretty long and the wait time could easily be 2 hours. And we noticed that you can get on the Sky Ride from both ends and we were headed to the other side. So we decided to try our luck there but that line was even busier. Well, overall, there are so many options to choose from as there were more than 60 rides available. But be prepared to wait anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour because, hey, after all, it's the egg. Up next, I would like to talk about some of the patios, bars and live performances happening here. There are several areas set up for this. There is one area right in front of the Enercare Center where you can listen to a live band while enjoying a drink from the Glow Bar. This is not the only area though, you can also find another area in front of the casino where you can listen to a very light live performance. There is also a cruise original area where you can look at people trying to do bow riding. Hey and how can we forget about all the carnival food? The roasted corn was delicious, and we also went to try the famous colossal onion. In our honest opinion it wasn't that good and most of it was inedible. But there were literally hundreds of options to choose from and some of the wacky ones too that you can only find at the X. Up next, we talk about the different exhibitions happening at the CNE. For that, we head back to the Enercare Center and start at the Shoppers Market. Here you could find different stalls selling objects from medical objects to jewels, clothes, lifestyle objects, household ornaments, books, as well as art. And how can we forget, you can also buy cheap mix and match makeup. 
up next the second exhibition which was the gaming garage was my favorite obviously this was where you could find the newest technology in gaming graphics as well as there were different competitions happening with games like Valorant, Fortnite, Humans Fall Flat, Just Dance, as well as some other puzzle games. Further on, in the warehouse outlets, you could find very cheap clothes, designer jacket, some rings, earrings and other jewelry. So it was a great place to check out as well. So we ended our day at the CNE with the drone show, which is the newest edition of this year. And this show will be happening until the end of the fair every night above the food building at around 10.45. The CNE covers approximately 192 acres, which is why we were not able to cover it all. So we have left the rest for you to go and explore for yourself. If you've watched the video till the end, please consider subscribing to the channel and we'll be back with another fun video.